Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade is going to be launching on November 7th. So this is your last call to pre-register. If you guys have not already done so, you can pre-register on the iOS or the Google Play Store. You guys want to make sure you go and do that because there are some really nice rewards that we're going to get for pre-registering. So if you miss out on that, that is going to suck. What are those rewards? Well, let me scroll down and show you. So we did have pre-registration milestones that the devs wanted us to hit. At 1 million, we got 500 cubes. At 2 million, we got 1,000 cubes. At 3 million, we got another 1,000 cubes. At 5 million, we got 2,000 cubes. And at 8 million, we got a full 3,000 cubes. Now, that is not a ton of summons because it costs you 3,000 cubes just to summon in this game. Please keep that in mind. So they're giving you two multis right here plus a half a multi. So two and a half multis for getting to 8 million pre-registrations. Now, if we do hit the 10 million pre-registrations, this is the big thing. This is the really good reward. We get a redrawable SSR character guaranteed gotcha ticket. And this is phenomenal because it's going to let you choose the character you want to draw for. It's actually insane. Right now, we're at this amount of pre-registrations, over 9 million pre-registrations. So I definitely think we're going to hit that by November 7th. But if you haven't pre-registered yet, you need to go and do that. Additionally, we already have gotcha draws before the game has even launched. We have the pre-game early gotcha okay so if you guys haven't been participating in this i will link it down in the description below you want to make sure you participate in this all right so this is the early gotcha and if you guys go and check it out you'll notice that there is a backpack in your backpack you will see different items that you have pulled from the past if you've already pulled and you have different items recollection bits or these are memories otherwise known as or characters that you could potentially pull i have yet to pull a character unfortunately but that is what it is additionally i have eight 800 cubes at the max that I pulled. I would like to pull an SSR uh, memory. I'd also like to pull an SSR character. There is a probability of pulling those. So it shows you 2.5% uh, for an SSR character, 10% for an SR character, 62.5% for cubes, 5% for SSR recollection bits, and 20% for SR recollection bits. All these characters here are the starting characters that are going to be available on launch of the game for the SSRs and the SRs. I'll show you guys which characters I think are most worth pulling. I have done separate videos going over their kits and what characters you want to pull so go check those out if you want a more detailed description of what to pull for but i'm just quickly going to show you guys the best characters and best residues out of this particular gotcha to aim for and to potentially use as well on your free redrawable ticket because if you don't get them in this gotcha you want to use your redrawable ticket for these characters so the characters that you guys are going to want to aim for you are going to aim for gojo he is number one the best character in the game biggest problem with him is he leaves after turn seven he just pieces out he can't die but he just leaves you okay so keep that in mind very very good character once again i've gotten more in depth in another video on his kit and what he can do the second best character that you want to pull for in the initial gotcha at the launch of the game is going to be nobra kugisaki nobra is absolutely insane in terms of damage she is on par with gojo for damage biggest problem is she's a little bit squishy but she's very very good now in terms of memories uh well, oops, SR characters, I should say. SR characters, principal, very good SR character if you're able to get him, uh, hold on to him. That would be ideally in your redraw. You wouldn't want to do that on the early gotcha because early gotcha, you're aiming to get an SSR character in your backpack, right? But when you go to do the redrawable ticket and you do a multi or you do your early draws, you're aiming to get the principal as an SR character early on because he is actually goaded in terms of support. Really, really good support. So in terms of SR characters, probably the most useful SR character you can get, you want this guy right here and now residues residues you want non-standard non-standard is a very very solid memory very good or if you can't get non-standard you want unity from top to bottom the two best residues you can get early on that is what you want to aim for so hopefully that gives you guys an idea of where to start if you want those broken down more once again go check out those videos i did videos on the top three residues the top characters to draw for stuff like that so just go check out the channel i have a playlist with all the jujutsu kaisen information and all that good stuff don't forget you can get more draws on this gotcha by completing your daily tasks so view the inviting event if you go to view and you go here okay we've seen the inviting event i've already like done this and shown you guys a video on this as well but that will now allow me to claim an extra ticket that is only one extra gotcha uh ticket right there so keep that in mind watch the Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade official PV. I don't really particularly care to do that right now, but it does give me one more summon. So I guess I guess I got to do it. Give me a second here. And for watching the official PV, if you don't actually want to watch it, if you just go to the link, it gives you the ticket. So keep that in mind. But there we go. That gives us two gotchas. I'm going to do those two gotchas right here. We're going to see if we can finally get a character 
which would be nice. I mean, any SSR character is nice because it's an extra SSR character you start the game off with, but ideally, ideally, you get Nobra or you get Gojo. If you can't get them, I would say Yuji is like the third best, in my opinion, out of the initial draw pool, but we'll see. We'll see what it gives us. All right, so please game. Uh, a bunch of these and remember you can only pick one so that's actually like a complete throwaway summon unfortunately now in normal summons in the game they're not going to have cubes just want to put that out there that's not how that works in the normal game a uh, continuing last draw oh we got a residue in there i guess uh, another 800 no if we had gotten a thousand i would have been okay i would have been like all right that's okay because we got a thousand uh the cursed crystals to use but unfortunately no cursed crystals there. We did get a new residue, so we'll be able to choose from these three residues. I mean, that's okay. This is probably the one I'll end up choosing right here, realistically, if I don't get any SSR ones. But make sure you guys are doing this every day because there is a chance that you could get an SSR character, SSR memory or residue. I call them residues because that's what they were called for the longest time uh, from the translation. But make sure you guys are doing this every day because you will be able to get some really nice rewards. And if you haven't already, once again, please, please, please go and pre-register. That is it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please consider going down there, hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button. And thank you all so much for watching and supporting the channel. Peace.